recognize you. You're that off-worlder. Come, we have no time. Batlu's forces have overrun the sky ramp. The royal palace could fall any minute. We must save the queen. Your plan seems to have succeeded. Your enemy has indeed revealed himself. I anticipated the Sith, but those beasts, those beasts weren't in my battle plan. Even now, Vaklu is using them to breach the palace. I will not surrender to that usurper. I would die first. Every man here would give their life to keep that from happening. There is hope. It is faint but growing stronger. I think my message was received. Which message? What are you talking about? An old student is returning. I don't think the Sith are going to know what hit them. This way! This way to the sky ramp! There are two force shield checkpoints along this path. Vaklu's forces have held this ramp for over a standard hour. That means they control the checkpoints now. If we can get to the turret tower up ahead, we can deactivate the first barrier. The forces we're encountering right now are their rear guard. The fighting will get tougher the closer we get to the front of the battle line. The Royalists in the bunker are contained. We deploy as soon as the reinforcements arrive. A Jedi? Here? Men, attack! Hold your fire! They're with us. Thank you. Vaklu's supporters stormed our position. Beasts. The beasts have gone mad and attack on their command. Please, go to the palace. We received a transmission that the palace grounds have been breached. If so, they don't have much time. Have they changed the access codes in the turret tower? We need to get through the force shields. I don't think they've had time, sir. They've been firing the turret non-stop. Vaklu's close to having air superiority now. You two, follow the Jedi. The rest of us will hold our position. We don't have much time.
The Jedi still... We're under attack, man! The beast's progress is remarkable, but it will take time, General. The throne room's force shields are far stronger than normal shields. Our plans go well, Tobin, but we are still vulnerable until she is dead. Even now, it could all unravel. Redouble your efforts. There is disturbing news. As you command, General. Slicer's has control of the security grid. He blew up that power conductor. Their slicer has to be using a palace security terminal. We've already locked down all secondary computer systems on the sky ramp. Until we deal with their slicer in the palace, you can bet that there will be more supplies up ahead. Tail command, we need reinforcements. A Jedi Knight is assaulting our flank. Hold the line! Attack, men. Attack! Some reinforcements. Follow the Jedi. We're gonna retake the palace. We've got to stop General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. She's still alive! Run! Run! Those cowards will be dealt with. Let's <laughs> go. 
We've made it to the palace. General Vaclo's troops haven't been here too long. Hopefully, we still have time to save the Queen. Straight ahead is the throne room. Vaclo's hand-picked troops will probably be here. I'm gonna stay here and keep the intersection secure. If any more royalists arrive, I'll keep them organized. Shut the outer door, now! I'm impressed you made it this far, but you're too late. Soon the Queen will be dead, and General Vaclu will be the new King. This is no ordinary door. The same material is used for the hull of capital-class vessels. I'm afraid you will find it quite impregnable. I'm afraid it is. Now, if you'll excuse me, we have one last barrier to take care of. Tell the Colonel we'll need more of our men to smoke the Royalists out of their hole. I don't trust those Sith... Oh, they're beasts. And another thing, if I catch any more of my men looting, then the Queen's Guard will be the least of your worries.
for your help. I don't know how you made it, but well done. Come in quickly before more Sith or Vaklu troops arrive. We got split off from Talia's troops by the currents of this war. We really need to talk, but Kadron and I are coordinating the defense of the war. I know Captain Kadron needs someone to handle a dangerous assignment. He's in the other room. Talk to him. No one else could do the job. I'm not her bodyguard. We were fighting at the palace gates. There were too many of them. We'll talk when all of this is over. Until then, may the Force be with you. So, you're the Jedi, eh? Well, the comm chatter we've intercepted is filled with reports about you. 
You fought right through their flank on the sky ramp? We desperately need someone like you. We've managed to hold this part of the palace, but Vaklu's forces control the rest. We need to get to the Queen before that flaming Drexel breaks through the inner door. There are two security consoles in the palace. The primary security console is on the other side of the palace. There's an expert slicer over there who's been hampering our every move. We need to transfer all primary functions to our terminal here, then disable the primary security console. That will also take their slicer out of the picture. After that, we'll control security again, and can get to General Vaklu before he gets to the Queen. Feel free to take anything from the armory lockers in the next room if you haven't already. This is no time for niceties. Talk to the Corporal. He can take you quickly to the palace entrance when you're ready to go to the South Hall. May the Force be with you. The defense of Isis requires my full attention. Thanks for your help. Queen Talia is the right
Thanks for your help. Queen Talia is the right one. Gather our forces. Make sure the defenses are set. Colonel Tobin says the Jedi is coming our way. Take your beasts and attack her. We need more time to prepare. I'm going to the control room. Perhaps the captain can be persuaded to cooperate. For your help. Queen Talia is the rightful ruler of Onderon. Thanks for your help. Queen Talia is the rightful ruler of Onderon. Something up? Our We don't have time for your resistance, Captain Riken. We need the override code for the palace shields. And I told you that I don't know. You scanned my ID, you know my post is the merchant quarter. I'm sure that's what you'd like me to believe. I have been authorized to use any means at my... Blast! Defend the security room with your lives! The Jedi could ruin everything. King Monin. <laughs> Thank you. 
Again. Seems you've made a habit out of cleaning up our messes. Don't suppose you could help a fellow out here. If you've ever been in one of these, you know they aren't too comfortable. The primary security console for the Royal Palace is just over there. It controls the force cage. I think that slicer is still logged in, so you should have full access to everything. If you could hurry, it's been a long day. Salye alisto park norcha, lusni hacha batishi jort. Ba one maderancha, you come most cruel. Nande mi soku kuran mara. Dragon X one gestale lorcha jemu me bete rong choda. Ruka sole mula soch. Kabadumpa mo wendi do chokere mi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba sura. Yatuka u one rika chotin wani ma orata wakata chi. Bram tava nin sochu. Da come just mak mi kavadumpa mo wendido chokere mi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Kavadumpa mo wendido chokere mi norta kunyun wish chawa kachuba. Sura da chi morutuko kanza. Kavanata kalu! Kavan. Yatuka u wanrika chotin wan. Kavadumpa mo wendido chokere. Bram taba nin sochu. Da come just mak mi... Yatuka u wanrika chotin... Bram taba nin sochu. Yatuka u... Thank you. Now that you've got me out, you need to get the primary security console's override code, then lock the terminal down. Once you've got that code, if you can get to the secondary security station, you'll control the entire palace's security systems. You have? You don't waste a minute. Captain Kadron will open the doors to Vaklu and Tobin any moment then. Let's head to the throne room right away. Will you just die already? You will go no further than this. You're too late. Our pet beast is about to breach the force field to the throne room. The queen will be dead in moments. Watch out! I've lost control of the beast! Ignore the beast. Into the throne room. The queen must die. Don't oh, blast it all.
Your time is at an end, Talia. Your people have abandoned you, and now your life is forfeit. You would destroy everything just for your ambition, Vatlu. The Republic, ISIS, everything. That is a gross simplification, Talia. Change is a painful process. A price must be paid. But Onderon will have a new destiny, one larger than you could imagine. You're getting careless, Vatlu. One more mistake, and you're the one who will pay the price. Damn you! Your skill with the blade won't save you from my men. Goodbye, Talia. Fire! What? The Jedi lives? But how? Kill her and the Queen Men, quickly. They must not be allowed to live. This battle, Talia. But your reign won't be an easy one. The Republic is a sinking ship, and you're too attached to it. He's too dangerous to leave alive. As distasteful as it is, it might be best to silence him forever. Until he's dead, all of Onderon is in peril. So what will it be, Your Majesty? Send me to your best detention cell. I will be free within the week, and vengeance will be mine. Are you so sure of my decision, Vaklu? I appreciate the Jedi's counsel, but as monarch, I decree you are guilty of treason. The punishment is death, to be carried out immediately. Captain Cadron? Talia, you can't. You're... but you're... you're too weak. What about my trial? But he will rise again. He has too many supporters. I do appreciate your counsel, but he must be killed. But the price if you are wrong. I thought I could order this, but I can't. It would be breaking our laws. You will stand trial, Vaklu. Take him away. What is done is done. I don't think the service you have given us can ever be repaid. I must go with Captain Cadron. The fighting must be stopped. I will be back shortly to try and repay you. The crisis is over thanks to you and Master Kavar. I believe he'd like to speak to you, if you'll excuse me. is not a mortal one, though it has been some time since I exercised my healing powers. There is a shred of life within you still. A gift from your master, no doubt. Awaken, Colonel Tobin. 
Your part in this is not over. Colonel Tobin, I am with Vaklu. The war has gone against him. He sent me to rescue you, to tell you you must make haste off planet. The Jedi have struck. They had a secret academy buried on Telos, and they are showing themselves at last. We are all in danger. What? But the Jedi are gone. They have all but vanished. So we all thought, but they have hidden themselves on Telos. Out of my way, old woman. This war can still be won, and Onderon can be freed. Indeed. This war is far from over. The Queen has requested you stay here until she gets back. I imagine you'll get some sort of reward. Talk with Master Kavar. She shouldn't take too long. The Queen has requested you stay here until she talk with Ma- The Queen has requested talk with- The Force works in mysterious ways, it seems. There are times I'm not convinced it doesn't have a sense of humor. We spend all this time looking for you, and you came to us. I thought you might return to Onderon. Looks like just in time. I told the other Masters that our only chance to figure out what was happening to us was to find you, and try to understand what happened to you. I don't know how much you know about this threat that's striking at the Jedi. It's attacking us through the Force. Varuk didn't believe me, but he was willing to travel to Dantooine, if only to help the settlers there, and perhaps protect what was left of the Jedi Enclave. Whatever the reason, having us all drop out of sight, I thought might make the enemy more bold. But then you happened. You came back, and you became a new target for whoever was attacking us. They were places touched by war, and we thought there was a chance you would return to these worlds, if only to try and make peace with what happened there during the war. But now the Sith have revealed themselves. That means the remaining Jedi will gather on Dantooine. From there, we can counterattack. Telos? But Telos was destroyed during the Jedi Civil War. I heard they're trying to rebuild. Atris? I thought Atris had gone to Qatar. Too many Jedi have scattered. The Council needs to gather. We cannot remain concealed any longer. We knew that someone was preying on us, hunting us. Finally, the Jedi decided to take action and called a secret conclave on Qatar to decide what must be done. Before the meeting could even begin, all the Jedi on the planet were killed, along with the Miralukas and all other life on the planet. Their deaths could be felt throughout the galaxy. So the Council decided that we must not present ourselves as a target again. The consequences to others were just too great. That we should use our resources to find who was responsible and deal with them. I think you're the only one who's made progress. The difficulties you surmounted to get here. You must have many questions. You deserve answers. There was nothing else we could do. You defied the Council. You followed Revan to war. I know why you did it, but in so doing, much more harm was done. But you must understand, the Exile was never the punishment you thought it to be. We could not have made you do such a thing in any event. I think you knew, inside, what you needed to do in order to heal. All those lives during the Mandalorian Wars, and all those you served beside, too much death leaves echoes in the Force. It is the price for having such connections. I suspect that is why you chose to accept the Council's judgment, to wander beyond the Rim, and why you traveled with no one and did not stay in any place too long. I have thought of you since your trial, and there are times when I wonder if being connected to the Force is always the gift it is believed to be. Whatever I can tell you... You always had deep connections to the Force. I'm glad to see that it is once again your ally. When I first sparred with you during your training as a Padawan, I could tell that you were different. And it wasn't just your strong connection to the Force. There is something I would like to teach you. It is a technique which, I believe, will aid you in the trials ahead. The philosophy of Force Mastery states that a Jedi's powers are best used without the direct intent to harm another. Here is a form that will aid in that philosophy. Through careful concentration, the duration of many of your Force powers will be enhanced. But be cautious when you face Dark Jedi. This form drains energy quickly and decreases resistance to Force powers. 
Excellent. I'm impressed with how quickly you've mastered this form. I always knew you were gifted. I'm going to Dantooine. The Jedi Council vowed to assemble again when the Sith revealed themselves. Now that they've attacked Onderon, we can act. Our paths will cross again. May the Force be with you. I'm sorry to keep you here. I needed to thank you personally for all of your help. Onderon owes both you and Master Kavar a debt that can never truly be repaid. Battles still wage in our streets, but by morning the conflict should be over. I recognize you must leave soon, but please, take this. I had also planned on giving you some relics from Onderon's past, but Vaklu's troops looted our museum. I hope the credits and my sincere thanks are enough. Captain Bostuka has made arrangements for a shuttle to take you to your ship. I fear it will be quite some time before you can come back. The war was brief, but destructive. I will focus all of my energy on rebuilding Isis. Thank you again. I must go. If you will follow me, I will take you to your shuttle. It's good to see you've returned safely. What happened on Onderon? I hope that Onderon's new unity of leadership will ensure their continued cooperation with the Republic. We should return to the Ebon Hawk now and plot our next course of action.
Lincoln. Kelborn. Nishasa a chutu gonku? Daka prota gocha. Upa volpa holos.
Yes. That crystal is bonded. Should your power increase? Is there some? That is there. He. Entertain. Perhaps. Ask. 